Waterfall chart is a nice addition in SAP BI 4.1. This chart is normally used for understanding how an initial value is affected by a series of intermediate positive and negative values like gross revenue here is initial value and rest other groups are negative expenditures. Usually the initial and the final values are represented by whole numbers while the intermediate values are denoted by floating columns. The columns are color coded for distinguishing between positive and negative values. We have used green for positive numbers and red for negative numbers. Waterfall chart is also called a flying bricks chart or a bridge chart because the chart gives an impression of suspended bricks in mid air. Let's get started understanding how we can create waterfall chart in web intelligence. Welcome to Around BI. A waterfall chart is a form of data visualization that helps in understanding the cumulative effect of sequentially introduced positive and negative values. We have our sample data set that tells revenue values against different categories. Gross revenue is income and rest others are expenditures. If I convert this table to a bar chart, it does not provide an increasing effect of these positive and negative values. Best way to analyze the gradual transition is waterfall chart. I will click the boundary of this chart and will select turn into and more transformations. At the bottom we have waterfall chart. We will select that and we will confirm that category axis is revenue category and value axis 1 is value. That is our dimension and measure objects. If we have more than one dimension or measure, we can see that in this drop down list and that will allow us to change that dimension. We will click OK and our waterfall chart is ready. We can see that our base value is gross revenue and these hanging bars are showing intermediate negative values. To give it a better presentable look, we will change some properties. I will right click on chart border and will click format chart. In general section, if I go to bottom, we will find calculate and show the total. With checking this box, we will add final value that is sum of all revenue categories. Let's check that. Click apply and OK. You can see that a new bar is created with label total. That is sum of all revenue categories. That's good. Color code for these bars are still not very catchy. We'll go back to format chart and we'll set some other style properties. First on data, I always like to see values inside the chart so that when users print it or export to Excel or PDF, they can see values associated with graph. So we will check in data label displaying mode. It will ask us whether we want to see data inside or outside of graph columns. Let's select outside. Remaining properties uh, we will keep as default. Come to palette and style. This is the place where we will set color code for positive and negative numbers. We will go down to general custom format. Start value color. We will keep it automatic. Total value color. We will keep it gray. So I will click fixed and from this color drop down, we will select gray 50%. Negative value color will also be fixed and we will keep default red. For positive value color, we will keep fixed and default green color. We will apply the changes and click OK. Chart is looking far better. Sometimes when X axis groupings are more, we need a reference line that gives an idea about start and end points. To add that, we'll go back to the chart properties and in plot area, we'll check in reference line. Apply that and we can see now reference lines. Uh, this has made easy to differentiate boundary values. There is another variation of waterfall chart in which we can show intermediate subtotals and then one overall total. As you can see, we have gross revenue and storage cost that forms a subgroup. And we have net revenue as subtotal for that group. Developing this variation is not a direct approach in Webby, but requires a lot of work around operations. 
that is out of scope of this tutorial. With this, I will end this tutorial. We have seen how we can create waterfall chart in web intelligence. Let us know what is the best user scenario you got to apply it. Please share your valuable comments and feedback. Thanks for watching.